Good morning readers. I, Harish Budhu, warmly welcome you to my channel. Learn as much as possible. From my handwritten articles. Opinion paper. Part 7. This 19th of June 2020. 21st of June, World Yoga Day. The historic events of the 22nd of June 1979 civil disobedience now come flooding back. And more than ever, such an awakening and electric shock are needed, to stop the gang of looters. 1. A very warm welcome to this Friday 19th of June 2020 opinion paper. This seventh part of the series will throw some more light on the most successful and ever flowering, and flourishing industry, that of corruption. Judge for yourself. Draw your own conclusions. Utilize our own but as a basis or catalyst. Bon lecture. Best wishes for a great weekend. Take care. 2. Some quick reminders now. A. Following the two last articles, the immediate public response has been very favorable. The warning of last Wednesday has served pretty well its purpose. Our friends, of the think tank, report that of all. The most keen and enthusiastic ones happen to be verily those of the 22nd of June 1979 civil disobedience activists. Anyway, the angry response also proves that people are really fed up, they want to change. They want a leader, to stop the rot and the loot. B. Yesterday, we had highlighted 37 English expressions for the attention of our student friends. That will help them to improve their English. Three. World Yoga Day on Sunday 21st of June, start a new life. A. Please refer to the last 4th and 5th of June papers of this year, and many others before, since we had started writing in Facebook, 2nd of February 2011. We are very attached to both yoga and Tai Chi. That because the millennium physical and mental exercises have 1. Enormously helped me to be both physically and mentally active plus to think positively plus to avoid wallowing in negative, evil and cannot do thinking plus to discover myself, and utilize to the full my own hidden talents plus to work 16 to 18 hours these days plus to strengthen my mind, and all the muscles of the body. 2. Nothing to do with any religion or any specific countries. Both exercises are scientific and health related. They belong to the world. They are the values and beliefs of mankind's heritage. They are part of the United Nations inheritance. The health sages and gurus of the Asian continent have donated the set of physical and mental exercises to humanity. B. Small wonder that I rang the officials of the Ministry of Health on last 5th of June, to remind them of World Yoga Day. I have not heard much from them. I have done my bit of duty. Come what may. Start a new life on Sunday. After all, all religions of the world comprise some postures of yoga and Tai Chi. See, all that said, start the self discovery on Sunday morning. Discovered the wonders of the Millennium Discipline. Meditate. Search your own conscience. This I bet, you will be a changed person in one month. Stop not till you will reach your goal. 4. The year 1979 battles of my fight against corruption and its godfathers now come flooding back. A. Many people who had not witnessed them or lived them, might not believe their ears or eyes, what I did single-handedly. Thank heavens, the then newspapers are still available in the libraries, to prove and highlight my epic and heroic struggle. Thank goodness, many of our fellow citizens are still alive, to tell you how they had all participated, witnessed a rare phenomenon, which was never dreamt of, helped the civil disobedience movement of 22nd of June 1979, to block off all the economic activities of the country, etc. History is witnessed. b. The warring trade unions, the embattled opposition parties, the fighting among themselves societies, the at daggers drawn religious leaders and so many other hostile forces, were all brought together by me to fight the common enemy which was destroying the country. It was corruption. I presided the first meeting at Centre Social Marie Ray Ain de la Paix. See, lo and behold, I was able to convince all of them, for a one-day Gandhian civil disobedience. 
all trusted me because of my fearlessness and selflessness. And because single-handed, my guts, my confidence, my courage, my lion-heartedness and my dogged determination, had all won the scalps of two corrupt ministers. Two had run away from my clutches. And a few of the most corrupt ones escaped justice. D. All told, I was humble in victory. And it goes without saying that today, more than ever, that 22nd of June 1979 civil disobedience, electric shock or electroconvulsive therapy or awakening, is badly needed. If not, corruption will destroy the country. If not, future generations will not forgive us. We cannot be passive, submissive and resigned bystanders. We cannot be lifeless and docile spectators. Keep reading, keep learning. Like and subscribe for more thrilling articles. Thank you for watching.